Ever tried to play some slap bass lines, but the sound just wasn't quite right? Maybe you're missing that super crisp attack. Or maybe when you try and slap, it turns into a muddy nightmare. Maybe you spend hours fiddling with the tone knobs on your amp, but no matter what you try, it never sounds the way it's supposed to. Hi, I'm Luke from Become a Bassist, and in this bass lesson, you're going to learn the four most common things that suck the soul out of a beautiful slap tone, and you're going to learn how to fix them. Welcome to Become a Bassist, where it's all about no BS bass lessons designed to get you playing better bass, having more fun, and becoming the best bass player that you can possibly be. Now, if you're having trouble getting a good slap sound, you're not alone, but don't worry. Chances are, it's not you. There are four things that kill a good slap bass sound. I kind of call them the four horsemen of the slap bass tone apocalypse. <laughs> now, the good news though, is that the fixes for most of these tone issues, they're actually pretty easy. So today, I want to show you how to slay these four horsemen once and for all. The first horseman that will kill any chance of a good, consistent slap sound is actually the setup of your bass. And most importantly, you don't want your action too high. That is, the distance between your strings and your fretboard. They shouldn't be like too far off the fingerboard like this, yeah? You'll, uh, you know, you'll know if it's too high if you end up using a ton of force to get the strings to actually, you know, bounce off the fretboard and get that slap. You shouldn't need to pound your bass super hard to get a good slap sound. Check this out. I'm not using that much force at all. It's not like I'm doing the whole thing like that. And the sound is still there. Yeah, don't need a huge amount of force, and if you're using too much force, then your action is probably a little bit high. Also, if your action is too high, then you'll end up wrecking your hand and your wrist from overplaying, and that's definitely bad news. But you know, it's an easy-ish fix. All you need to do is take your bass to someone and get the action lowered to a more manageable level. Or if you know how to do all that stuff yourself, give it a crack. The next thing that will suck the soul out of your slap sound is using flat wound strings. And seriously, if you're using flat wound strings to slap, it's gonna be a bit dull. If you slap with flat wounds, it's not gonna have that classic bright slap sound. It's gonna be way less of a crack on every note, not quite as much life, and definitely not the kind of sound uh, most people think of when they think of slap bass. Now, it, it's, it's definitely possible to slap on flats, but if you are looking for that classic uh, slap sound, you can't go past round wound strings, which is what most bassists use most of the time anyway. Now again, that's not to say you can't use flats and slap, there are plenty of examples of that, but you know, it's just not the same. However, the third thing that will demolish any chance of a glorious slap bass sound is trying to slap with super old strings. Yeah, I know some of you bassists, you change your strings like as often as the UK changes their queen, and there's like a ton of grey and green stuff hanging in between the cracks of your strings and they smell horrible and it's, ah, oh, it's gross. Now, strings like that, they're not going to get you a good slap sound. In general, the newer your strings, the brighter and the slappier they'll sound. Now these ones aren't like brand new, but they still have a bit of life in them. Yeah, once they start getting too dull though, I will have to replace them if I wanna, you know, keep them super snappy. Now these first three of the four horsemen, they're external things that you can change without modifying anything you're doing as a bass player, right? You could take care of all of them in an hour if you have the know-how. The fourth horseman though, will actually take a bit of work from you and that's to revisit your slap technique. If everything else is taken care of and you still can't get that slap sound, it could be that you're not using enough force, enough kind of velocity to get the string to really crack on the fretboard. Uh, it could be that when you pop, you're not lifting the strings quite as much as you need to, so it ends up sounding a little bit anemic. It could be that your plugging hand is accidentally playing two strings at once, turning what was a nice crisp bass line into like a muddy stew. And you know, if you think your technique might be the thing stopping you getting a good solid slap tone, check out my video all about slap bass technique. I'll put it in the description below. It'll take a little bit longer than just, you know, slapping a fresh set of strings on, but it'll be worth it for that sweet, sweet tone. Now here's a quick little bonus tip. If there were a fifth horseman, it would be your EQ. The kind of classic EQ for a slap sound is what's called a scooped EQ. That's where the mids are kind of taken out, they're kind of scooped out. And the bass and treble on either side are kind of boosted up, which kind of scoops the mids out by default. 
Now you can do this uh, on your bass if you have that much control on an active bass for example, or you can do it on your amp as well. Either turn up the bass and treble, or turn down the mids, or you know, maybe even a little bit of both. Now, uh, having that nice thick low end in there, boosting the low end, means you get a solid uh, bass thump, so people can like really feel it in their chests. And turning up the treble, on the other hand, gives you the clarity uh, with every note because your high end is really present as well. That's equally important for a good slap sound. Once your bass has a reasonable action, it's strung with new and with round wound strings, and your slap technique is nice and solid, you should be able to get a strong, fat slap bass sound. <laughs> without too much trouble. And if you are new to slap, you'll want to find some things to play right away, right? And if that's the case, definitely check out my lesson, five beginner slap bass lines guaranteed to impress. I go through five super simple slap bass lines from real world songs to get you started with slap. And the video even includes the very first slap bass line I learned myself. Check it out right here or in the description. It also comes with tabs and notation of every song, plus practice drum tracks so it's easy as possible to get started playing real world slap bass lines today. So I'll catch you in that video. Thank you.